In this episode of Tesla series, we'll show you the best and easiest way to get iPhone casting, ultra high quality Apple CarPlay and Android Auto directly on your Tesla screen without needing any installation, no need for 4G SIM card or even your phone's mobile hotspot. We have got all types of phones here and we're gonna be testing this feature on all of them. We have got an Android phone, this is an older iPhone, this is the iPhone 7 Plus. We also have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. What is going on everyone? Today we have this really awesome device that allows you to seamlessly connect Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, do phone casting on your main Tesla screen. This is different than anything we have reviewed in the past because this does not require a 4G SIM card. It works seamlessly, it just requires one step connection and just easily right here and this is an older iPhone this is an iPhone 7 plus and it works really well for this it doesn't require a new phone and just as easily you can exit this you can go to cast icon here you can go and swipe your phone and connect to a Apple cast device through your phone and just in a matter of couple of seconds you have your phone mirror to the main Tesla screen so easily super easily you can use Waze directly on your phone and it shows up here you can use zoom on your phone with camera and it works you can use FaceTime you can do texting all of that shows up right here in the screen and as I said it is really really cool and very very interactive there is no lag time you can do vertical you can do horizontal you can make it full screen this is pretty awesome so I want to show you how to connect all of this here today do a demo of how this works go on a drive I'm gonna show you how well this is synced with the Tesla and then I'm gonna share my opinion about this device but I really like it this is different than what I have reviewed in the past this product was sent to us by TMA Tesla motor accessory this is a new company for us we have never worked with them before but after talking to them they seem like a really nice company with a large selection of Tesla products and I really like talking to them they seem like they know what they're doing and uh, they have experts on their team along with customer service people and when I check their website when I look at it here on the partnership looks like they are forming partnership with a large array of people all around the world so that if you want to install this product they might have install installers all around and also pick up the products from a local company uh, wherever you live so they are forming this large partnership all around the world I really like that because then it gives you that customer service aspect very locally uh, so that's that's good and then they also have some BBA parts where you can buy other parts but mainly they are doing this Tesla Tesla products and as I said they have wide range of Tesla products here and we are going to be reviewing more products from them in the future today we are reviewing this CarPlay box and what I like about them is also they do some research and give you the warnings like this I, I like that and this is a warning for you all that before you order make sure that the browser can be open while driving some countries exactly like Taiwan or Hong Kong Tesla does not allow browser to be used while driving so if you are in one of those reasons please do not order this so I like that they're upfront about that rather than trying to figure that out later so really great company and uh, we plan on working with them for other products in the future and please do me a favor you can go to their website um, and and see what other products you would like me to review and I saw the pricings and they were pretty great compared to other companies that we have worked in the past I also like that the discount code is already embedded in the link down below so you don't have to do anything other than just go put whatever you want to purchase into your cart so you can go back you can add other products um, or this particular product there is a large selection as I said in the past and um, when you go and put this product here so add to cart when you go check out all of that is already included so Shiva Tesla is a discount code already included you don't even have to type in the discount code but in case it is not you can type in Shiva Tesla here and they will knock off what looks like about 10 percent or so off of the system so anything that you order in their website you can use that discount code and it's already embedded within the link so the process is really the same as what we showed you with other devices in the past this is the box here it just has a USB-C input here and then there are two light indicators here all you have to do is plug it in and uh, when you plug this in you will see this light illuminate right here uh, yeah there you go so letting you know that this is powered on and ready to go 
So we can leave this aside. You can put this inside your central console. So we are going to be starting with the iPhone 7 Plus here, the oldest iPhone. Uh, remember on the other device, even with the update where you don't need a 4G, older phones don't work. But they say that with this device, the older phones still work. So this is 7 Plus. Uh, so we are going to try that and then we're going to try it on our iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, but uh, for better visibility, let me uh, turn this screen towards you so you can see it a little bit better. Now, first you need to go to Bluetooth and then this is the device. The TSL91A5 is the device. You need to hit and then it will ask for a pair and you can allow to sync. And then it will ask you if you want to use CarPlay with this device. And um, once that message pops up, you can hit yes. So use CarPlay right here. Now we're good to go. Now we can use CarPlay with this device. First thing you need to do is go to the car setting and then click here on LTE and it will search for the Wi-Fi here. It found this Wi-Fi TSL. Press on that. The default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then hit confirm. So now it is trying to connect to that Wi-Fi based on the password we just provided. Uh, it's just trying to connect to this device and it connected. Now, another important step that you have to do is go to the Wi-Fi setting here. So the settings of this Wi-Fi, click on this Wi-Fi and then you want to press here. It says remain connected in drive. Very, very critical. Otherwise, the Wi-Fi won't work as soon as you put your car on the drive. So now when you say remain connected in drive, this is going to work. So this is the Wi-Fi signal here and we're good to go. Let's go back to our browser. Now, what you need to type here um, instead of Tesla is just put zbox.link. So zbox dot l i n k so that is the zbox.link and then you want to hit enter now when you do that it will take you to the carplay screen so you have carplay because we are connected here and if you look at it personal hotspot is off and just the bluetooth is on and that is the all the settings that we had to do it was very very simple and this is good to go this is a full carplay right here where you can use this as a regular CarPlay drive. We got Waze here, so we can we can do that with the Waze. We can search the destination. Let's put Walmart and then it'll, it'll take us to Walmart. Now again, you could go to Google Map just easily. Use Google Map and let's just put gas station. Even though for Tesla we don't need it, we can go to Sheets and go. As you see, like it's really fast. Even for an older iPhone, it is really, really fast that it works. And when we start driving, so when we start driving, it actually works here so that you can see that it, it starts moving. So it, it knows the location, we're going the wrong way and uh, it starts moving. So you know that the location is working. So this is a full car play that you can interact with while you are driving even on an older phone. This is very, very interactive for even an older phone that is actually getting the GPS location and doing a turn-by-turn -turn navigation. A tip for you guys is if you want to bookmark this so you don't have to remember this at all, all you have to do is press here and um, you can name it whatever you want. So here we are going to name it CarPlay. So go here, name it CarPlay so that when we hit enter, yeah, that's good to go. Now, next time you want to launch this, you can just go to your bookmark bar here and CarPlay is right there. So you can just easily press on that and then it will take you to this location where CarPlay is connected. And the whole setting that we had to do was just one time. You can now leave it as is. Next time you get into the car, your phone will automatically connect to CarPlay and you're good to go. You just have to fire up the browser and then you start driving and the CarPlay works. So now another thing what we're gonna try is the iPhone casting here. Right now, if I press here, there is no screen mirroring because we have to actually set this up. And super easy to do that is you go here, you exit the Tesla here, go to cast. And as soon as you go to cast, now watch what happens. You press on iPhone casting. You're going to see that box show up here. Now you can just press on this and you are going to see live casting from this to here. There you go. So live casting of what we're doing on the phone to here. So this is really awesome that it has that feature built in. Now you can do all kinds of things here. 
Um, you could share pictures. Um, you could launch YouTube directly from here. You could do anything and then it will be visible on the Tesla and this works again. You could be in the drive mode, you could be driving, and you're casting your phone directly to your screen. Now, if you wanna go back to the CarPlay, um, you could just press this and stop mirroring, and then this screen pops up. Hit the link here, then the CarPlay is going to just start up because this is already connected. There you go. So that just took a second, and the CarPlay is ready to go again. So very easily you can switch between casting and carplay and then the passenger can do this in the front so this is super easy super seamless as you saw how easy it was and keep in mind this is an old phone this is 7 plus because we got iphone 14 pro max here so even for an older phone works seamlessly super awesome so we just tested the iphone 7 plus now let's test an android phone for that you have to go to settings connect a device hit pair and this is it the, this is the device TSL and then um, you just hit on that device and it's trying to pair with this here so now it says pair it is paired so this is paired right now and that Android Auto is trying to figure that out we saw that Android Auto sign come up right here so right now it is connected to Android Auto it's just gonna take a little little time there you go Android Auto is going to show up on that screen. And that was very seamless as well. So we have Android Auto right here. We didn't have to do any, any, anything other than connect it to Bluetooth. And then the Android Auto picked it up. And we're good to go. This is Waze. So we're good. So this is Google Map actually. Um, and we can cancel this. We can go to Waze. So this is a full Android Auto here. So we got all the apps that you normally see in Android Auto. There is Waze, there is YouTube Music, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Audible, whatever you want to do, it is right here. And uh, you know, most importantly, the Waze or the Map apps are going to be really useful. We can just tap on the Google Map and it opens up and it is all doing it through this Android phone here. So now that we have tested on these two phones, the 7 Plus and the Android phone, let's test in our iPhone 14 Pro Max. It should work flawlessly with this one and it should be the fastest system. So let's try that. Uh, for that, again, go to Bluetooth and then this device is gonna show up here. You're going to press on this and then it should ask for a pairing code. Then um, you can allow and then just here in a second, it's going to ask if we wanna connect it to CarPlay. Um, so it, it should ask, so use CarPlay, then we should get a CarPlay here. So this screen goes black for just a second. So we have the CarPlay here. Uh, Sometimes the car freezes, so just you know be cognizant of that, it's not the device. So we got a CarPlay, so full version of the CarPlay using the 14 Pro Max. And I don't know how well the camera can show this, but it is really SD quality and really fast as well because I can just swipe this and then it works. So this is pretty great here that um, you can use a full version of the CarPlay with this and it is crisp clear very interactive very reactive um, there is no lag here I can't see anything and then Waze we can get the Waze going so let's put an address uh, let's put Lowe's here we're and all set let's go there you go we're all set we can take off so how Waze works, of course, is the same way as any other CarPlay system here. You can also recenter, by the way, if you are not, you know, in the center on the screen here. Then you can just press any address here Let's get or started. in the screen. Drive safely. So there you go. That is how Waze works. And as you can see, there's police here. There's a lot of things happening. So you can see the live road um, access the information from Waze. So it looks like there's some traffic. So we can do all of this um, while driving and now have Waze. That's the biggest benefit of having Waze is you can have all those driver feedback and things that you normally don't see on the test list. Starting route to Sheets. And there you go. Head north on Bellmead Drive. Then turn left onto Oakmont Drive. So there, there you go. So you have that. You can um, turn the volume off on this and um, you can just start your drive and this will update. As you can see, even the the orientation it updated really quickly so it is very very in tune very synced and it is doing rerouting now it is showing us 
and that is moving at the same pace as the car is moving so that's pretty great that it, it works really well and of course this is a carplay so you can use any of these apps you can do the podcast you can even do zoom you can do any of these apps and then your navigation is always going to be right here so you can use that while driving yeah as we speed up this display is speeding up as well so it is very much sync there is no lag here now this is a pretty common question from the last devices we have reviewed is how does the audio work? Does the audio go through this and then it goes to Tesla or can you send the audio directly from here to Tesla? Now the question, uh, I also had that question so I tested this. What happens is that when you are using CarPlay you can keep your phone's Bluetooth connected to Tesla. This device only needs the Bluetooth when it is trying to make that initial connection. So once it makes the connection and it knows your phone, it does not need the Bluetooth continuously. So your phone's Bluetooth actually becomes available then to connect it with the Tesla. Right now, I am going through the Bluetooth to connect the Tesla. So if we go to Bluetooth here, it says Shiva's iPhone is connected. And right here, it shows that I'm playing this through Tesla Model 3. So my Bluetooth is actually connected but at the same time, if I go here, my CarPlay is working through this phone through the Bluetooth. So if I play here, the audio will come out from the Tesla speaker, but that is because this phone is connected directly to Tesla. It is still going through the CarPlay here. So you can see everything that is happening in the CarPlay. Just the audio is isolated and it is going from your phone directly to Tesla. That is why there is no lag while using CarPlay uh, through this device because you're not go the audio doesn't go through here. It goes directly through the Tesla. So this is the zoom here uh, on the phone and this is CarPlay. So this is not cast, this is CarPlay. Here you are able to change the audio. So I'm putting the audio directly to Tesla instead of putting it through this. But if you look at it, I can see my face and I can see the, the other people here on the screen, but I won't see anything here because, because this is a CarPlay, it won't allow you to show videos while driving. That's just a safety feature with CarPlay. So you could have your phone mounted here and the other people will be able to see you, but you can't see them in the screen. It's the, it's the safety feature. So it, the zoom doesn't work in the conventional sense here, even while parked because this is through CarPlay. However, that is not true while we do the phone cast feature. While phone casting, the audio must come out of the casted device, unlike while using CarPlay. Right now, we are in FaceTime, so this is FaceTime works, so you can see the visual in the screen. Now, something to clarify is right here. So there is three different Bluetooth, the Tesla, the speaker, and then this TSL91A5. Now, that is the one that needs to be connected for this cast to work. As soon as you remove that audio to a speaker, the cast is not going to work. So your audio is going to lag just because the audio does come through here, but it's laggy um, and you're gonna have that issues with the cast feature. So that's, that's the bad thing is that the audio, you cannot change the audio when this is casting. The casting must happen with this box right here. The issue is exactly the same with Zoom. Um, you can do this whole Zoom thing here and, and as you can see, this is zoom, but the audio must come through this device and it lags when it gets to the Tesla speaker. So I want you to be careful that the audio is gonna lag. And um, there is a zoom on the actual CarPlay and I'll show you in a second, but you can't see any pictures or incoming videos. Um, the, the other person on the other side will be able to see it if you just put your phone on a mount and then show your face. They can see that, you know, you're driving or you're parked, but even while well parked, the audio must come through here because the issue is if we go here it 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 won't let me connect to the speakers uh, for the audio because as soon as I do that as soon as I change the audio to to the Tesla speaker as you saw this is disconnected so that is uh, I wish it let you do that um, but it but it won't when it is in cast mode the audio has to go through this this is Zoom here. Got a participant. Now we are able to use Zoom 
in the main screen so if you didn't have that feature before now you are able to do that and you can do vertical or horizontal mode let me see if I can do full screen I don't think there is a full screen option here but you can do all kinds of things right here and uh, the zoom works so this is zoom and we are working here so can you try to talk yeah yeah, there's just a slight delay with audio because we are we have to use the audio here um, because the Zoom audio is going through that CarPlay box um, here. Otherwise, if I do iPhone, the the casting stuff. So I think there's just a slight delay in the audio, but overall it works great. I mean, it's a good alternate solution if you don't have Zoom. We can cast it real time onto the Tesla screen here with the FaceTime. Awesome. Thank you for testing. I do hope that in the future, they figure out a way to make a full screen app like this for this box so that we don't have to go through the browser, but instead go through an app. You know, it could be just a CarPlay app and then you interact with all the features that you need. But going through full screen would be really nice, um, especially even through this browser here and accessing that functionality, especially for people like me where you might have a front instrument cluster, so it does all the job, what you need to see in the front, uh, speed, blinkers, and all that. It'd be great to have as an optional feature to have a full car play on this main screen. All right, so let's bring today's video to an end. I really, really like this. This is the best system that we have tested out of all the CarPlay box we have tested here. Um, as you're aware, we tested a couple of them in the past, and this one is the most integrated one and the easiest one to connect. We didn't even need mobile hotspot to be turned on. We didn't have to change the name of our phone. We don't needed a 4G SIM card, none of that. This was just seamless. You connect to a Bluetooth, and it starts working very well on both Android and Apple. And then I really like that the, there was the casting feature for iPhone. That is a very critical feature and I'm glad that it works. I know that not everybody wants a CarPlay on your display uh, here. You, you, you think that the Tesla system is already good enough and which is true. Tesla system is awesome. But for those of you who actually want a CarPlay there, now you have an alternative. Rather than just using those front displays that we have reviewed in the channel, you can also now use this little box, connect it, and it starts working. Another use case for this is for the iPhone casting, uh, where you can show everything that is happening on the phone here on the screen. If I cast it, I can do FaceTime. I could do multiple things by casting this phone to this browser here. So there's multiple use cases. Is it perfect? Nothing is perfect. Uh, do you absolutely need it? No, as I said on all of my videos, all of the product that I review on this channel, you don't absolutely need it, but it is nice to have for those who want it integrated on their system. But this is by far the best system we have tested for Apple CarPlay that works natively on a Tesla screen. So what do you all think about this device? Would you get it for your Tesla? As I said, this is a new company, Tesla Motor Accessory. I have a link down below. The guys that I talked to in the company, they were really, really nice, very sweet people. I think they're trying to create something that works based on customer's feedback. And I give them a lot of feedback where we have received in the past. And this, uh, to me, is a really great solution. Check them out. I have a link down below with a special discount code. If you have any issues with this device, if you purchase from them, please let me know and I'll reach out to them. But I want to know your feedback. Does this have everything you're looking for? I'm still wanting that Android cast to be available here. Now that it has that iPhone cast, it has all the functionality that we have looked for, not requiring a 4G SIM card, not requiring a hotspot. It works with your phone's data. It has all of that integrated. Of course, it's just through browser, but again, that's the best solution we can find. I still want them to figure out the Android cost. That's one of my requests, but do you have any requests for them to figure out uh, any modules, any special features? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'll make a follow-up video if you leave your questions in the comment section as well. Thank you very much for continuously supporting our channel. Thank you for sharing our videos with your friends and families um, in, in different medias. We really appreciate your continuous support. We're gonna constantly bring you more and more Tesla accessories like this in the future. We'll be back again next week with another Tesla accessory review.